Hello guys, today let's talk about return types in Laravel controllers specifically for the API. So while creating a demo API project, I encountered this situation and I was kind of confused what API controller index should return. And the answer is not as simple as you think. There are many options. Let me explain. So first the backstory. In Laravel 10, two years ago, they adopted a lot more type hints for return types. As a good practice, adopting PHP later syntax for or ability to have those types more strict. Here's a tweet by Taylor, then I have a separate video on that why it's so important and I will link that video as well in the description below and the result of that in Laravel 10 they released something like this so Nuno Maduro made a huge job in 2022 with a lot of likes as you can see basically adopting return types all over Laravel core code both in Laravel core and Laravel skeleton so void here for example in the kernel then in app service provider for example void by default then for example in user factory definition array to be returned so it's a good practice to have return types for functions right and i thought the same way and i was trying to add something here for api controller by default it doesn't have anything returned and the type that you return depends on how you return the api results so if you specifically specify a response json like i do here then kind of the obvious type to return is json response like this and then the function works so in my postman i can launch that api endpoint get the results everything is fine but if i want to use eloquent api resources to return the result look what happens so instead of that response json i do task resource which i do have behind the scenes collection of tasks which is exactly how laravel docs suggest to write that syntax I see underlined line by PHP storm return value is expected to be JSON response. And this thing returns anonymous resource collection. And here we have two problems. First, that code wouldn't even work. So PHP storm underlining that is the thing that you cannot ignore in this case. If those type mismatch, then in the postman, you will get the error as well. Return value must be of certain type. And then the second problem, if you take a look at the official docs of Eloquent API resources, there is no example with controller. So if on this page we look for controller, it mentions a response from a route or controller method, but all the examples are with callback functions. So callback function with string as a parameter, but there is no return type for that function and if we scroll down again callback function example this is a resource collection but then again callback function example so there is no controller with return type so the official docs don't suggest anything basically we're on our own to decide what to return and let's take a look at various options as you saw already json response is not the correct thing so what php storm is suggesting is anonymous resource collection so this is one option just apply what php storm is suggesting and if we launch postman it works but by the way if you use eloquent api resource then the result changes with data wrapper and a few more things inside so be careful with that so this is the default type suggested by php storm but you can also shorten that to just resource collection and of course, we need to import that class. And here on top, we have a resource collection. So it doesn't have to be necessarily anonymous resource collection. But personally, I see a problem here. This is my personal opinion. In my opinion, controllers should return something like response, whether it's blade view or JSON response or something with response. If I read that controller method returns the collection, then I expect some other layer in the code to transform that collection into response to the browser or to the API client. In this case, it's not obvious that Laravel is doing that for us behind the scenes, transforming that into JSON. But from here, for example, if some non-Laravel developer is reading that code, it would not be obvious that the result is JSON, right? the word JSON isn't anywhere here. So a better way here, if we hover over resource collection, it extends JSON resource. So a more readable return type, in my opinion, is JSON, but not JSON response, which AI is suggesting. 
but JSON resource in this case. It's not underlined by PHP Storm, all good. If we refresh the postman, it still works, no errors. So in my opinion, it's more readable. Another alternative if you want to go for response is to return but not JSON response, but the interface called responsible contract interface, which would just tell PHP that this is a rule that some response should be returned. But in my opinion, this one is pretty meaningless, but that would work if you want to return something. And while experimenting with that, I was constantly thinking, is it actually a problem? Am I making this up? Is it too big of a deal I'm making here, trying to have return types everywhere, but maybe it's not necessary in this case? And I post it on Twitter and I got a few interesting responses. So this is my tweet emphasizing basically the same thing that I just told you in the video and this response was pretty profound in my opinion by Newton Job here. First thing, a controller can return anything and this is the main part. I don't see why people think it's the controller's responsibility to return the response. In other words, Laravel in itself, the framework has quite a few magic moments so to speak to transform the objects into something returned for the browser or for API client, that controller isn't actually the last resort or the last part of the chain. So we shouldn't emphasize the return types in the controller that much. And in another response to the same tweet, Alexander stated that they explicitly disabled PHP stand for controllers. So specifically for controllers, there's no benefit in enforcing any contract. And then I Googled some more from that point of view and found a few interesting things. So in Laravel 10.1, after the major release with return types, in 10.1, they removed the return types from controllers specifically. So controllers did have return types, including controller stubs, but this caused confusion as what controllers should return in the first place. As a potential solution, Taylor suggested to have mixed return type, which was exactly the pull request to 10.1 version. But look at the reactions, totally polarizing, 86 versus 63 against that. Because mixed, let's be honest, it kind of defeats the purpose of returning anything at all. So the actual final change of this pull request was removing the types at all. So now in the stub of controller, we see index without anything here, which basically means as the comment, the first comment here says that developers can do it in their own project. In other words, it's our decision, it's our personal preference, what do we want to return, if anything. So my overall conclusion from that experiment is that it's totally fine to leave controllers without return types, unless you want to enforce that for your personal preference or for your project, that is also fine. But Laravel as a framework will not decide it for you. There's no default or best practice option, especially for APIs, which may return different things. For Blade, it's easier. In most cases, you return the Blade view or redirect response from store or update methods, for example. But again, the framework doesn't enforce it on you. It's your personal choice. What do you think about all of that? Am I missing something here? in that story and what do you typically return in your return types in API specifically or you just leave the controllers without the return types? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.